Hello everyone, in the second part of the tutorial video let's build calculator in JGR together. This part will be much more difficult than the previous one. In the previous uh, episode we built a number selector for one digit and one LED display. Without recording I built three more selectors and the rest of the display digits. And this is because the construction of each selector and display is exactly the same. That's why I decided to skip this step, not to extend that previous video. In this video we will deal with the data processing, uh, first uh, based on selected numbers using the selectors we will convert those numbers from decimal system to binary and then I will show uh, how I add those binary numbers to each other. Of course all it will be preceded by a boring but necessary theory of how I will add. There will be a lot of programming. If a stage is uh, incomprehensible, I do not hesitate to ruin and watch the difficult fragment again. And at the end of the introduction I just want to remind you that English is not my native language, so I will make some or even more uh, uh, language mistakes, so uh, uh, sorry for that, and let's start. After analyzing the different additional methods, I come to conclusion that the simplest method would be the traditional addition method, in which there is always only one column of digits added with uh, a value from 0 to 9, regardless of the position where this column is after the decimal mark. So we are adding units to units, tens units to tens units, and so on so on. When the result is greater than 9, the overflow is carried forward to the next column, and in uh, this universal way you can ease the art without, without end. Thanks to this method as well, we will always convert the number, numbers not greater than 9, which gives us maximum of 4 bits per digit, and uh, we will always add binary numbers no larger than 4 bits, and the result will fit in 5 bits, because adding to single digit uh, numbers gives us a maximum of 18th, and this result fits in 5 bits. Uh, let's build now, uh, let's call it processor. Of course I'm exaggerating, I'm kidding, it's not a processor, but uh, uh, so we have over here a selector and digit selector and digit and this is uh, a value units so 8 is the unit a value tens so this is 60 the unit 6 for tens and this is the same but for value B and we are going to now to convert uh, the number we have over here uh, to binary representation of that number and actually we will not converting the number here but we will converting the position the number of position at which train uh, right now is so we have it at 8 position because this signal exit signal is red the rest of exit signal is green so it will be only one right now a red and uh, as you remember we can have only four bits uh, digits uh, because uh, nine is four bits so first bit second third fourth just in case this is a matrix that represents um, the binary representation um, of of the numbers from 0 to 9 and over here we have the same but for uh, further results that the maximum is 18th and we have over here 5 bits because this is the fifth uh, 1 2 3 4 5 so now let's build the converter so we start the converter uh, let me change the color and we start right uh, right now with uh, value A units so that's how it's going to look I'll let me make a mark uh, maybe I, I'm too close I'm too close because 
I want to have a mark over here. So this is mm, bin a value bin a uh, units bin a units. Okay. Now we need to I no now I need to have programmable signals. And we're going to because this actually has the same uh, uh, almost the same looking program in this signal is needed here. So I'm going to open this editor for the program for this signal and now copy this one. Actually no, sorry, we're going for A, so we're going to copy from A, not from B. So this one, that's different set of signals. Remember, it's now at 8 position. So what we're going to do now, we're going to now program according to those bits, to the first position. So when it's 0, we want this last, because this, again, show the signal so this shows this signal then one is over here uh, we don't see it let me let me hide the uh, trees okay so this is one this is two and so on so on the last is nine and this is over here so now I'm going to now where it is. So we're going to check for the first bit at zero. So it's supposed to be green. Now one is here is one. Uh, so the vertical stands for one, horizontal stands for zero. Uh, so zero, one, now two. When it's two is green three red four green five red six green seven red eight green and 9 is red okay now seems to be okay now uh, this program so let's make a copy from the first one now again we start from 0 but this time for second bit when is 0 uh, is green when is 1 is green two red three red four green five uh, green six red seven red eight green and nine green if I make mistake I will fix it later we will check them those numbers later okay let me close this now another program the third bit make a copy we go for third bit in each of those numbers zero green uh, two one green two green three is green there's the third one yeah yes uh, zero one two three green four is red uh, five is red six is red seven is red eight is green nine 
is green. Okay, all right, now the last one. Now the last one, I'll make a copy. No, first edit, make a copy. And again, when it's zero, now the fourth by bit. Uh, till eight is green. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now eight is red. That's eight. The fourth is red. And the nine is red as well. Uh, something is wrong. Seems to be what I've done wrong. Oh, it's not wrong. It's okay because our our uh, our train is on eighth position. It. Let me check what we've got. Red zero zero zero. Red zero zero zero. Seems to be correct. Uh, let us check now this. So this is this train. And let's check the, the bit. Uh, am I wrong? Am I right? Uh, unpause the game. So this is 8. Now go to 9. So this is 9 and this is our 9 first bit is red second and third green fourth is red let's go farther now we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 again is correct now it's time now it's time to make the second this one uh, you can make it in similar way or use the setting from here but then you have more uh, work to set those signals here so I go I go uh, like before so let me first have uh, logic no programmable signals I'm trying to be slow because I understand that this is going to be very difficult for many of players not familiar with the logics programmable signals and the programs so now we copy again this time this because this shows this set of exit signals so we copy this and now we have to repeat the process for the same so actually I will do it uh, to speed it up at, uh, to maybe not to speed it up to to make a shorter this video I will now make it uh, I will stop recording and I will make it uh, without recording. I'll be back in a moment when I will be done with the second second uh, row of signals. So I'm back. I'm done. I've done the job. I programmed the rest. So just so I explain you. So we've done together binary conversion uh, A units. So this one this loop and let's say this dig digit and then I started to pro program this one the binary conversion for uh, B value units and then I've done the tens which is over here so this is this digit and then B tens which is this, this digit uh, those signals over here are exactly the same except for different set of signals I mean the it shows so 
being a tens points to a value tens signals uh, binary b tens to b value tens uh, and now I'm just going to show you something mm, I think it's better copied this way than I said before so if you have let's say this way uh, you just we want to have the, the the first bit so you copy not like I said over here because we already have over here the full set for the first bit so we want to have the first bit over here so just copy the previous one and now for example this is the that this is B units and I want to have a units yes so I'm going to make it bigger and we start with a zero so set signal and I showing zero one two and so on and so on so this way is more more rela relaxing and I think uh, you will not make a, uh, any any uh, mistakes over here so that's that's it now we've done the conversion and uh, the next setup uh, next stage we need to uh, setup I think is in my language sorry for that guys uh, so let's ne next stage next stage is to add those numbers and now I need to first explain you what we're going to do in order in order to understand what we're going to do I need to explain couple things so uh, let's start explaining now I will show you all eight possible bit settings and the overflow bit comes from the previous operation and the values a and B belong to current one uh, so if the carry from previous operation is zero and a value a and b are zero result is zero when the carry from previous operation is one and value a and b are zero result is one when the carry from previous operation is zero value a is one and value b is zero we have a result one now when the carry from previous operation is one and value a is one value b is zero we have zero because one plus one in binary is zero and so on so on so on and now I will show you a similar analysis for overflow bit result for this bit are different the carry for next operation will be one only when we have two at least two values one so if there is only one value one the carry is always zero when you have two or three the carry will be one it is now time to program the result depending on the settings of three bits overflow of value a and b uh, it's going to be very very difficult we need a carry bit here that's our overflow we do, you don't need the first one the first one you don't need but I want to have it oh, sorry all right now I need the uh, place for result uh, we need a uh, five for result here yeah? remember that uh, now we need the signals programmable signals and it's going to be very very difficult moment now uh, because we need to build a, such a program that will change check a state of those signals okay so in the normal circumstances carry bit for the first operation is always green because there is is zero so it's always green okay so has to be green and now we're going to program this result so what we're going to do we're going to check condition of all those signals 
so if car is green and A is green, B is green, I want the signal be red. If this is green, this is red, this is green, I will be red. If this is green, this is green, this is red, I will be red. If this is red, this is green, this is green, I will be red. If this is red, this is uh, red, this is green, I will be green, and so on, so on, so on. Uh, so, uh, we need a condition. We need to show the first stick signal, and this is going to be my carry. So, if the signal is green, then I have to check if the two others are green. So, if, uh, again, condition. So, if this is green, and I want to check another condition, if uh, another signal, if it's green, the B1 this time. So, if this is green, it means all of them are green. So, um, I'm going to be this bit, this, the first result will be green. Okay, but now if the car is green, A is green, but B, but B is red, that would be over here. So the signal state for this has to be uh, red, like it is now. Alright, but what if uh, A is red? So car is green but now we have uh, A red so now I need to check what the state is of B so we're checking the, again B the first bit of course so the B and now uh, if car is green and this one is uh, A is if car is green A is red and I am green and this and B is green so I will be red yes because zero red zero gives you red now if car is green uh, A is red and I am red I will be green I mean the result will be green because one and one gives you zero okay that's the first uh, now we need to check what if carry is red so when the carry is red we need to go here let's check condition uh, con uh, condition of uh, a signal signal state so if this if this is red and this is green and B is green then it means that we have one so signal will be red because this is red this is green this is green this has to be red but now if this is if this is uh, red and this is green and this is red I have to be green I mean I when I say I I mean the uh, result okay but now if car is red and now B is red so I have to check again the conditions of the B so now again car is red A is red and uh, B is green so that means red red and green gives me signal state green otherwise it means that all of them are red the signal state would be red oh okay uh, let us check if this is working so this is B value units and this is A units let me check now what we have for so now we have this all the time green let me out pause the game and start pushing one correct 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 Co correct 
correct correct now let me change the signal state over here for red so remove the program one 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 gives us one mm, and pause the game uh, one zero one is zero one and one is zero and zero is zero one and two zeros correct 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 okay so this is working now we need to make a copy let me change this one uh, make this signal green make the signal green now we need to copy so I'm going to show you now only the next bit because the other bits everywhere here will be exactly the same except for this one so I will show you later what to do with this one okay and this one of course so we start copying this one so when I copy it we copy now what we need to do we need to show those signals here so set new signals for the second line of the bits that's the second column uh, so the first is carry bit and it goes only once now we have a and now we have twice B now we have A and now we have twice B and again we have a correct result immediately uh, yeah and this is red because it's not set this will, uh, I will programming it later after I finish this okay so I stop uh, recording and I'll be back when I finish uh, programming all those uh, signals uh, so see you in a moment so I've done programming of uh, the result line except for the fifth uh, bit yeah they empty and why because those fifth bits are the carry bits yes they are the carry bits so after all the operations we, we because we adding over here zero so if I have a carry the carry uh, will be one for example this will be one if it's zero this will be zero so I can make a carry over here and then make a copy but what's the point of making the carry here and then copy of this so I'm going to program this carry the, the last carry over here and that will be my result so let's uh, let's program this so we starting programming this one because this this carry always always is a result of previous operation this one is zero because there was no operation Pre uh, before there was no operation this, that was the first operation now we have so let's start making the program it's going to be another difficult program so first condition and signal state and now we need to show the previous carry so we analyze and we analyze this in a different way now because this is actually uh, I think uh, uh, what's the called uh, XOR 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 I think and uh, over here is different so uh, now we need to show this carry now if this is green I need to check A the previous A so if this is green I need to check B now and this is green there is no carry to the next operation so this is green otherwise if this is green this is green this is red it's still 
don't have a carry overflow so this is still green but now if we have the carry is green the first one and now uh, a is a is red so I need to still check for the B so now we're checking B the previous one the first one so now we know that carry is 0 B is 1 and now if the B is 0 so there is still no carry but if B is red we will have a carry okay so that's this one is done now we need to consider that the carry is red the previous one so now condition the car is red we're going to check a now so we're checking a and now if a is green and again now we're checking b and if b is green there is no car but if car is red a is green and the b is red there is a car now we need to consider when carry is red and a is red so now we need to check for b so when the car is red a is red and the b is green there is a carry so we need the red now when car is uh, zero green a is uh, sorry when the carry is red a is red and the b is red we have a carry okay let me think if this is correct uh, yeah yeah this is correct this is correct and now let so now you need to copy this signal so if you want to program you copy now the previous one and you change the states uh, the the signal for the previous one so now we're checking for the uh, let me check if I don't made mistake so this is the one yeah yeah this is the one so now we're going to set the carry for this now we're going to set for A this one and this one for A and now four times B one two three four okay so now I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to program all uh, the same all those signals and I will be back in a moment after I finish this so I finished programming uh, uh, the signals except for one uh, for this signal uh, the rest is programmed so all the carry bits are programmed this one as well this one as well and why this one is not uh, not programmed because it is going to be it is going to use a part of uh, of a system that is responsible for displaying the result over here so I can't do it now it will be built in the next uh, last part of this tutorial so I have to leave it like it is now we finished for today it was very long uh, video and very difficult uh, so I would like to just say that um, I could make many language mistakes uh, for which I apologize uh, because English like I said before is not my native language uh, if there is something difficult you don't understand please uh, leave a question 
comment in the comment section of the video and I will try to explain you um, in other in another way all right so thank you for watching thank you for your patience and um, as well thank you for every like because every like actually motivates me uh, thank you very much and see you in the last part of this tutorial